Hey guys in this video we are going to be checking out the best hair dryer. You can buy right now. We made this list based on our personal opinion and hours of research and we have listed them based on type of features and price. We have included options for every type of user so, whether you are looking for a best budget. If you want more information and updated pricing on the product mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. So let's get started with video. Number 1. Babyless Pro Nano Titanium Portofino. Foster, who is based in New York, uses this hair dryer in her salon and recommends it to any client that needs a blow dryer at home but does not necessarily use it often. She noted that, because the blow dryer is infused with nano titanium properties, it helps prepare hair in the blowout process by removing static and closing the hair cuticles. The Ionic dryer has six heat and speed settings, comes with two concentrator nozzles, and is available in two colors, blue and black. It's clearly designed with salon standard blow dries in mind. The motor is digital and brushless, meaning the airflow is ultra-fast, which cuts drying time as well as the amount of time your hair is being blasted with heat. Generally speaking, brushless motors also generate less friction and vibrations for a quieter drying experience and can last far longer than the average motor, this one comes with a 10-year guarantee. This is also an ionic dryer, meaning it sends out negatively charged ions that interact with frizz causing positive charges in your hair and break down water molecules, so you can expect a smoother, sleeker blow dry overall. Pros. Affordable. Reliable brand easy to control. Comfortable hold. Cons. Gets too hot. Number 2. Panasonic Nano Hair Dryer, 1875 Watt. While Panasonic may not seem like a brand that mixes with hair care, this Panasonic Nano Hair Dryer works with super intelligent technology to lock in moisture and leave your hair feeling soft and smooth. This hair dryer comes with a quick dry nozzle for those who are short for time and a diffuser for those of you who like to try different styles. The different speeds and temperatures can be selected based on the condition of your hair with a setting called healthy which will dry your hair at 50 degrees for a far less harsh blow dry. Overall this hair dryer is nicely designed and great value for money. T took just under 4 minutes to fully dry and style our shoulder length fine hair, while the quick dry nozzle, which splits the airflow into 4 sections, 2 strong streams in the center and 2 softer streams on each edge, sped this up by a further 30 seconds. Our hair was left with a shiny, healthy look after each blow dry, thanks to the nanotechnology which uses negative ions that penetrate the hair's cuticle, reducing static and frizz to ensure a shiny finish. However, the outlet the negative ions are ejected from sits on top of the barrel, set slightly back from the air, outlet and forms a hump on top of the barrel, creating a look to the hair dryer you'll either love or hate. Number 3. Dryber Buttercup Blow Dryer. If you're a fan of Dryber, the chain of salons known exclusively for blowouts, you're probably curious about this tool. This dryer's claim to fame is that it's ultralight to keep stylists from becoming bodybuilders, but we found it heavier than expected at 1. 1 pounds, it's actually only 0. 1 pounds less than our heaviest dryers. The Buttercup has three speed settings and two heat settings on the front of the handle and comes with two smoothing nozzles. Even on high, the airspeed didn't feel strong to teach, but it dried her long hair a bit faster than the ultra-powerful Dyson, just without the ultra-shiny, soft feel. It didn't perform badly, but the buttercup wasn't a standout. That regulates the temperature of airflow to ensure hair isn't damaged by excessive heat buildup. On test, it was certainly one of the faster hair dryers we've reviewed, taking just 3 minutes and 47 seconds to fully dry our below-shoulder-length fine hair but it's also one of the noisiest two measuring 82 decibels on its fastest setting. This is equivalent to a diesel truck traveling down the road at 40 miles per hour. Its unusual design has a much wider than usual barrel, making it bulky and heavier than most hair dryers. It definitely made our arms ache when using it, but if you're concerned about reducing heat damage, we still think it's a worthy hair dryer. Pros. Comes with two smoothing. Cons heavier than expected. Number 4. GHD Helios Hair Dryer, Professional Hair Dryer. 
Burton previously used the more affordable GHD air blow dryer. However, he said the new Helios hair dryer outdoes it because it's lightweight, so you have great control and your arms don't ache after five minutes. Dot Burton noted it takes less time to dry hair with the Helios model, and he called it really powerful, but not overly hot or damaging. He also noted that both the GHD and Dyson blow dryers are advanced, and both work perfectly with all hair textures and types, the brands both offer diffusers and afro comb attachments, so all bases are covered, whether you want a sleek or curly look. Rendon also recommended the GHD Helios blow dryer, noting that it's lighter, faster and it offers more precise styling. It's an amazing blow dryer for all hair types. You can also get the nozzle comb and add it for hair with texture or tight curls, he noted. It received a 4. 8-star average rating from nearly 350 reviews on Ulta. The flight weighs in at 422 grams, around half the weight of the GHD Air, a dryer raved about by W&H beauty editor Annie Vischer, incidentally, yet packs in 70% of the power of the larger model. Handily, you can adjust the voltage between 120 for the US and Canada and 240 for Europe by sticking a coin in a little groove and flicking it around. The controls are fairly simple two hot settings, one cool and that's your lot. The hottest it'll ever get is 65 degrees centigrade, which is plenty if you're holidaying somewhere balmy, and although the cool setting could be a little colder, it still has a decent defrazzling effect if you use it to finish your blow dry. Number 5. T3 Coralux Hair Dryer Digital Ionic. I came to the T3 Coralux with some of the highest expectations, not least because it gives the Dyson Supersonic a run for its money on price. Within the beauty industry, T3 has a reputation for innovation and, incidentally, makes my favorite curling wand, the customizable Whirl Trio. So, how did their latest luxury hair dryer measure up? From the minute you slip it out of its box, the Coralux makes a good impression, all sleek glossy and black with copper detail, there's a white version, too, if that's your thing. It looks a tad large compared with some of the others I tried, it's about 25 centimeters long, compared with 21 centimeters for the Remington and Parlux, but doesn't feel clunky in hand. The display is digital, which feels very swish click one button to flit up and down five heat settings or two speeds, and the cool shot button is lockable, too, making life easier if you need to set a head of thick hair, no sore thumb from holding it down. As I said, this is a brand known for pushing technology forward, and there's plenty of that going on in the Coralux. The most unique feature is the auto pause take your fingers off the handle and put the dryer down, and it automatically stops airflow, resuming only when you pick it back up again. You can imagine how useful this proved when attempting a big bouncy blow dry with various round brushes. It does take a couple of seconds to notice it's been dropped and self-pause, but in several weeks of testing, it never failed to kick in. Alright guys that's all for now. Please leave a like on the video, if you are new here hit that subscribe button and enable your notification bell icon to get the latest videos of our channel. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most updated pricing on all the products mentioned in this video.